All right, well, thank you everyone for joining us today. We are going to be going over Transfection Lab and setting up an experiment. So first and foremost, we are here on our main Thermo Fisher page and we're already logged in. So in order to go to Transfection Lab, we're going to need to go to Thermo Fisher Connect, which can be found under my account right there. Right now that we are in Thermo Fisher Connect, this is also where you can connect your instrument um, to Thermo Fisher Connect, and that's how your instrument can talk to the various apps on here. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the apps. So we can go ahead and view all apps here. We're going to want to scroll down till we find Transfection Lab. There it is, right under cell biology. So we're going to go ahead and create an experiment. You can also open an existing experiment if you would like to modify one that you've done in the past. So first, we are going to choose what cell line we are going to be working with. Please also note that at any time, you can go up to the top right hand or left hand corner and click on page tour. And that will walk you through all the various steps that you need to do to fill in the information for that page. All right, now that we have the cell type in there, it's going to find the various protocols that are system already has set up in its library. And it's going to present us with the best options that are specific for that cell type. Um, we would also be able to choose from various other tabs up across the top if we wanted to choose an optimized protocol or choose a existing protocol that we have saved. Now that we have our protocols in here, we see that we get a red check mark under electroporation parameters. We're also going to want to verify that the morphology is correct and the plate type that we want to use, as well as the overage, which refers to the amount extra that we need in order to make sure that we have enough volume in case of losing any uh, sample during processing, as well as our tip type. We can offer or also reference our quick start guide, which can be found in the bottom left corner. Right there. Right. And if we wanted to add an additional protocol, we would be able to do that by inserting a row. So now we're moving on to payloads. Now, the important thing is to make sure that we get a check mark next to each of these steps, and that's what's going to allow us to move to the next step. So here we are going to add in our payload information by inserting a row. Now for this experiment, we are setting up a plasma delivery. You can also set up other applications, including CRISPR guide RMP, which can be done right there. And you can also change your concentration type to molarity if you prefer over weight over volume. We want to make sure we click that green check mark to make sure that it does save in there. And then we'll see that we got a red check mark next to payloads up above. So that means we are good to proceed to the next step, which would be cell densities. We're going to add the cell density by adding a row. You'll see that the number easily converts over to scientific notation for you.
Now that we are good, we're gonna move to the next page. It will ask you to save that experiment just so that you can reference it in the future um, or if you need to come back to finish setting up your experiment. Moving on to the design plate, we need to add in here protocols, payload, and cell density. So we can do that by clicking on an individual well and also dragging to highlight multiple. So here we're going to assign a control for the first two wells. And then our first electroporation protocol and our second operation protocol. Now we're going to want to go ahead and add in our payload information. So here we're going to add a control and we're going to add that payload that we inserted on the last page for the remaining wells. And then for cell density, we're going to want to apply our cell density and our cells across the board to all of them. We can save the plate here. We can save all plates or we can save an individual plate. So here we have plate one. And by saving this plate, we would then be able to access it on the Neon Next in instrument. We can import it via USB or we can transfer it using instrument. Uh, connect and what's going to be transferred there is going to be the electroporation protocols by themselves. Transfection Lab does utilize the payload and cell density information to give you a full personalized guide, but for the instrument to operate, all it needs is the electroporation parameters. So now that we are good there, we can go ahead and proceed to the next page. Now we get a final guide here that is going to walk us through step by step how to set up our experiment and all volumes that we need are calculated for us in the background and are here in bold of any inputs and calculations. We can go ahead and also download this to a PDF and print it out in order to take it with us down to the lab. So there we go. One last thing to add is, of course, we are constantly trying to make this app better and better for you. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. You can do that by going to the bottom right hand corner where there is a gray rectangle on its side that will emphasize that will say feedback. There we go. So we can click on that and you can point out exactly what you would like to see improved. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy Transfection Lab and, of course, the Neon Nets instrument.